After you played Bendy in the Ink Machine for the first time, I'm pretty sure you had a lot of questions like I did. Mainly my questions were around who were these characters? What was the main point of this entire game? Because actually, a little side story. Not too long ago, a friend of mine asked what games I was playing. What games do you play on your channel? I told them, one of them being Bendy and the Ink Machine. They're like, oh, really? What's that game? I started to tell them what this game was, aesthetically. And when it came down to explaining the main purpose of the game, I paused, thought about it for a few seconds, and really didn't know how to answer that question. Basically, what I ended up saying was, well, the story, it's a little hard to explain, but you're in this like inky um, environment and you just have to survive. <sighs> anyway, I know now currently the main purpose of the game. I relearned everything because, you know, you need to sometimes. About this game, Bendy and the Ink Machine is a first person puzzle action horror game that begins in the far days past of animation and ends in a very dark future. Sounds a little odd. Sounds written wrong for some reason, but we'll go with it. Play as Henry as he revisits the demons of his past by exploring the abandoned animators workshop of Joey Drew Studios. With twists and turns around every corner, Bendy and the Ink Machine is sure to thrill you and decimate your childhood. You'll never look at cartoons the same way. Same way again. The first chapter sets the tone for the adventure ahead. Solve the riddle, escape the workshop. And you guys referred Super Horror Bro or Super Horror Bro Mike. Also, same thing. He has a channel in which he dives into theories of Bendy and the Ink Machine. And he gets all into the images being released for each of the chapters that were being developed at the time creates his own theories, plays the games, and, you know, gets fully deep into Bendy and the Ink Machine. And he actually does a really good job. We binge-watched a lot of his theories in my previous video, in which I learn about the characters a little bit more, the Butcher Gang, for example, and just kind of get some of those answers to the questions that I initially had. Well, we're back at it again. I binge watched more of Super Horror Bro Mike's theories because I was intrigued after our last binge to see exactly how Mike analyzed things that were fresh for the game. I'm someone who played the game first and then went into watching theories that were for the earlier chapters. So I already know what happens. And watching someone try to predict what the next thing was going to be was very interesting, especially when you're watching someone that is spot on. Now, although this video is going to focus on the positive side of Super Horror Bro Mike's theorizing for Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 4, there were some things that you know, he, I think, missed. I didn't look too much into this, honestly, to correct myself. So I may be spitting out shit here. If so, so be it. But one of the things Mike says is that Joey Drew, who owns Joey Drew Studios, where um, Bendy and the Ink Machine takes place, the first one, he says that Joey is the character Bendy because that was Joey's, like, that was his dude. That was the main character of the cartoons that they were creating in the studio. So I guess it makes sense that Mike would associate Joey with um, Bendy and connect them as the same person. 
the Bendy we encounter is in fact a reanimated version of Joey Drew. There are many telltale signs pointing to this theory being correct. But I don't think that is correct. So there are some things that in his videos I still learned about and we still like listen to, but there were like moments like that where I just was questioning if that was correct. But besides those moments in Mike's theories, there are a lot of points that he makes in his videos about chapter four that eventually we see are true. His hunches are correct in a lot of the videos that he makes. The screenshot shows an open vent with graffiti along the wall spelling out no angels and he will set mm. us free. There are several points to analyze within this image. The first thing that jumps Who out from this new screenshot that? is the open ventilation shaft holding a flashlight. In my Bendy Chapter 4 predictions video, I theorized the flashlight would come back in a big way after its fleeting use in Bendy Chapter 3. However, the fact it appears inside this open vent may hint at it being used purely when traveling through pitch darkness. Does this mean that Henry will have to navigate through walls from room to room using these vents? Now let's look at the silhouette of Alice herself. I had previously theorized that chapter four would feature less of Bendy and instead we would see more of Alice. Mm -hmm. The fact Alice actually appears in this image in person means it is logical to assume we may find her hunting Henry throughout the level as a new enemy type. So basically, Mike theorized the whole point of chapter four, which was it was going to be the closing for Alice's, um, Alice's story arc. And we see in chapter three, Alice is a character that is now becoming more and more threatening. Did you lose something? Give us Boris back. Oh, look at that. Oh, the environments look amazing. <laughs> Henry, why are you here? We're all dying to find out. Oh, well, there she is, goddamn. And also one thing that he points out with Alice is that not only is her story going to develop in this game, and our relationship with her is going to develop, but there's going to be an end to her story in chapter four. That was pretty impressive because we actually do see in chapter four at the very end, there is the end of Alice that we know of in chapter four. Oh no, look at we, we had to finish Boris off, man. No. We lost him. We didn't save him. Oh god, okay. Oh and I'm sure he'll get more into the two different Alice's we see at the end of chapter four. There were also like little details within chapter four that Mike pointed out in his theories that he was predicting to see. And one of those being that we we're going to see more of the vents and we we're going to utilize the flashlight a lot more in this new chapter. If you want to see a full reaction to me watching his videos and him playing Benny and the Ink Machine Chapter 4, you can go into the Discord and there's a link to an unedited viewing of all of those theories for you. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. To be able to predict the main purpose of a brand new chapter for this game, it's kind of like when Game Theory, Matt Pat, analyzes certain things in the FNAF games 
or the FNAF movie or book or whatever and is able to predict what is going to happen in the next game. Or I think some theorists actually did predict what was going to happen in the FNAF movie based on like some teaser stuff. I'm pretty sure that happened. But anyway, that is really all I wanted to say. And I want to see more of Super Bowl Mike's videos to see if he actually was able to get other things correct for Bendy and the Ink Machine.